Hello, this is Kate with Fast Fuck Dog Training, and I'm going to make a video today about teaching your dog how to run blinds. I have another video, I have several videos up about teaching the blind retrieve, but the question I had today was what to do after you come off of pile work. And so I'm going to be covering that when we get out to Area 13. We're here in Washington State, Western Washington, in Pierce County at JBLM, also known as Fort Lewis. And we're entering through Area 14 to get over to Area 13, which is open today. And so I'll be right back with you guys um, as we get closer to our area that we checked into. Okay, we're making the turn from the road that runs alongside 14 onto the road that um, turns in, goes in between 13 and 14. And it's really hard for me to see. I'm hoping that you guys can see the sign that says stop. Um, you need to stop and turn around if you don't have a permit to use this land. But the permit is free and all you have to do is show your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. Go through the front gate and then go over to range control. And they will issue you a two-year permit as long as you pass whatever little background check or whatever they're doing. You may need to get an enhanced driver's license at this point. Um, I've been hearing a lot about that on the news. I've had an enhanced driver's license for six years now. but. Um, so I, it hasn't been an issue. If you don't have an enhanced driver's license, you may need to bring a passport with you. But anyway, so here we are, we're on the road and we've got 13, area 13 off to the right and it's starting to rain, of course. And then we've got area 14 off to the left and Mount Rainier would be over, is over there, <laughs> but it's hidden behind the clouds today. So I'm ready to cross over Muck Creek and I would like to point out that the Department of Defense, the U.S. government, spends millions and millions of dollars. Here's, here's Butt Creek, and it's still very, very full. We've had over 45 inches of rain this winter. It's a record year. Um, so we're here at the end of April, and Muck Creek is rushing along. I don't know if you can see it out there. Um, so they, they spend millions of dollars keeping this property in tip-top shape. They keep the roads really well graded. They, out in the prairies, which we're going to in Area 13, um, they keep the scotch broom and the other vegetation either burned off or mowed off. And I mean, they spend so much money maintaining this property. And there's over 100,000 acres out here. And if, if you live in this area and you're not taking advantage of it, you're really missing out. Okay, I think I have this set up right. So I've got Misty here and we're gonna go out into the meadow with a few bumpers and we're going to do what we call walk around blinds. So Misty's never done this before and so this will be her first time with this little exercise and I don't expect a whole lot, but I'm going to take her with me. I'm going to make it really fun for her, and we're going to walk out. And what we're aiming to get is a wagon wheel. So we're going to go out here, and we'll take her with us all the way out there, and we'll just do a little tiny toss and let her go get it and praise her for it, and then we'll back up. And then after we get that one exercise done, we'll go out here. So you're at the center of the wagon wheel, you're, um, and the spokes are going out from the center. And so you're going to put one over there, and one over there, and one over there, and one over there, um, eventually. But for the first day, you might get two in, and you're just going to keep it really fun and really kind of exciting for the dogs. Are you ready? So. You ready? Let's go. All right, we're heading out. And Misty's pretty excited. So is everybody else on my track. So you might hear a lot of frantic barking because they all want to come out and get bumpers. Because we're just a bunch of maniacs, aren't we, Misty? Okay, so I've got my bumpers here and we're just walking out 
towards the road. You stay. Get the bumper here. You stay. I'm just going to give it a little toss. And then I'm going to walk back to her. Good stay. You ready? Misty! Oh, good girl. Good. So that was kind of like a mark, but that's how we teach the blinds. So we walk out. We do walk around blinds. We walk out. We give a little short throw where she's sitting just maybe 25 feet, 30 feet away. We toss it where she can see it, and then we walk back to her and stand by her side. And I said her name like it was a mark instead of back. Um, I should have said back, but um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, I'll probably do a little bit of her name and a little bit of back until she gets really used to the back. Okay, so now we're going to take Misty back a little farther, back towards that spoke of the wagon wheel. Not all the way, because this is the first time she's done it. Maybe just about 10 or 15 feet farther back. Come here, Misty. Come here, baby. Sit. You stay. So I've moved her back about 10 or 15 feet from where she was before she was right about here. And now she's back there a little farther. And I'm going to get up here and I'm going to do my toss again. And she's sitting there watching intently because this is what she lives for. You stay. That little toss again. Good stay. Keep everything positive. Good stay. Misty! Misty! So there was a little hesitation there. She wasn't sure. Really? You want? Really? I get to go? Um, and she couldn't see the bumper. So all I did was say her name again, keeping it positive and enthusiastic. Good girl. Good girl, Misty. And I also took a few steps towards the bumper, which encouraged her to go ahead and run out there. So you want to keep everything positive. Don't get frustrated. Dog training is all about solving problems one little step at a gonna, time we're gonna do another step another spoke of the wagon wheel so in order to do that we're gonna go from where we are right here and we're gonna walk back towards what would be our spoke which would be kind of that mound um, under the tree so we're walking back and Let's see. I think this is a good place to have our the center of our spokes. Misty here. Here, baby. Here. Sit. Okay. So now, instead of going out towards the road that way, I'm going to walk with the dog out towards these trees in the meadow here. Come on, Misty. Here we go. We're just walking out. What's going on? Hey you, what's going on, silly? What is going on, Misty? Okay, come here. Come here, I want you to get over here. Come here. Sit, you stay. So she's not too far away. You just, you wanna keep it real short for the very first one on each end of the spoke. So I'm turning around. Okay, baby. Let's walk back a little farther. Come here. Okay, again, we're just going to move her back about 10 or 15 feet, 20. Come here, Misty. Misty, here. Sit. And then I'm going to walk back out there. You stay. You stay. You know, Toss it and land it in the same place as I did before, up on that little bit of a hill. 
I'd like to keep it where she can see it on the downside of the hill, if possible. And I guess I should point out I'm using white or black and white bumpers. And she broke, so I'm just going to take her back. Right there. She's getting confused because I'm talking and she thinks I'm talking to her, I guess. You stay. Toss this bumper right about where it was before. She can see it. Good stay. Good. Misty! <laughs> so if she doesn't go on back at first, it's no big deal. Just use her name. Good girl. Misty, let's go. And I don't care if she heals nice or anything like that. All I care about is teaching her this really fun little exercise. But now I want her to sit. Come here, baby. Sit. You stay. You stay. Sit. Can I drop this? You stay. And I'm just going to give it a short little toss. And there goes the other dogs. You stay. she went on back that time. Good girl. I'll walk her back a little farther and I'm going to go back out and toss the bumper. Now if we do this again tomorrow we'll probably do the same thing only stretch her out so that she's running a little farther down the spoke from the center and then maybe the third or fourth day if things are going well then I'll put three bumpers out at the one and we'll keep moving back without me tossing them each time. We'll keep moving back without me tossing them each time. We'll, uh, she'll come with me, I'll throw three. We'll move back after she gets the first one and back further after she gets the, the third one. But that is not something that you're gonna do on day one. So now I've moved back with her and now I'm gonna walk a little farther out and put this pretty close to where I had it. Whoops, sorry about that put it pretty close to where I had it before and she'll run from a little farther back. You stay. You stay. And I'm going to tell her to stay before I throw it. Just a reminder, it's a very high drive field <laughs> trial bred dog and she hasn't been totally steady yet. So. Before I throw it, I'm going to tell her to stay. You stay! And here we go. I'm going to toss it. And then I'm going to walk back to my dog's side. You stay. Good. Good. Where is it? Misty! girl. Okay, she couldn't see it. It was hidden uh, in the flowers over there, the wild flowers. And she had a little hesitation. She looked up at me like, is this really what you want? And um, then she chose on her own to just go ahead and run out there. So good girl, Misty. Can you fetch that up? Can you get it? Fetch it up. Fetch it. Oh, what a good dog. Good. Here, now we'll give her some happy bumpers. <laughs> 